We're excited to be back with another edition of Why Real Estate, where we dive into the most fundamental aspects of buying and selling residential properties, including investment properties. I'm grateful to be here today with, with Wyatt Beckstead, the owner and operator of Summit Flooring and Design. He's got some nuggets of knowledge that he'll share with us that help you know increase, obviously we want new carpet and you know new flooring and those kinds of things when we live in a home. Um, but we also want to express the importance of having your flooring taken care of uh, when you go to list your home or even checking for the quality of the flooring when you're buying a home. So uh, Wyatt, I'm grateful you're here with us. Thanks for having me. Looking forward to this podcast. Uh, of all the things I tell clients to do that could make the biggest difference, you know, one of them is their flooring, getting it taken care of. Right. I mean, what do you notice when it comes to uh, flooring and prepping a home to sell, for example? Um, sometimes it's very obvious that carpet or flooring needs to be replaced. You know, occasionally we'll come into a home and the pets have had their way with the carpet or there's, there's areas that are missing or it just smells really bad. But sometimes a family's just lived in a home for, for 20 years and uh, the carpet's just been an afterthought and it's really, really worn out. Um, same with flooring. So flooring can go a long way. Sometimes people don't even think about it, but it can go a long ways, whether it's in really bad shape or could just use some updating as well. And I often refer Wyatt to clients. So recently we have a house right now that uh, we're getting ready to get listed and went in and they'd held a, had a daycare in it. Um, you can imagine what was done to <laughs> not just the flooring, but the entire house. Uh, and it turns out the, the carpet he picked, I mean, they're not going to go with the number one high end best because they're not living on it, right? With the right. expensive pad, but you want to give a good, good flooring. Mm -hmm. And I thought when I went in, uh, the owner was concerned about whether or not it was going to be the right color. And I went in and I, it was ideal. It was perfect. Matched the, you know, the black railing and uh, it just makes the house look like the owner has pride of ownership. It's one of the Absolutely. key components to how well is this house taken care of that you're looking for as a buyer. Absolutely. And there's little things too, like people don't realize it until after they do it, but putting new carpet in a home, it kind of changes the smell of the home. It makes it feel new. And so whether the people looking to buy the home realize it or not, it gives the home a new feel and it, it really helps them to feel like they're, they're buying a house that's new. It's ready to be theirs versus something that someone else has lived in, right? It helps them put themselves in, you know, envision that they could own this house, you know? Yeah, and, and they recognize it as, hey, I'm the first to walk on this floor. Mm -hmm. I think it matters. You know, it matters, that newness feeling and everything. Right. And, you know, Wyatt and his group, uh, his his company, and I highly recommend whoever you're, you, you prefer to do your flooring, I highly recommend Wyatt, of course. Uh, but, you know, sometimes it's patching that gets the job done. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's stretching. I mean, these little things matter if you've got carpet that's bunched up a little bit. But oftentimes you do that, you know, as part of your service, right? Absolutely, yeah. Restretching a carpet's really cheap, fast, and um, it just, it's a quick way to make that carpet look a lot better, for sure, if it has any wrinkles. And, and I can't emphasize enough how important it is between cleaning, painting, and flooring that those things are in top-notch shape, okay? They're presentable, they're ready. Um, when, when I walk into a home and I'm showing a client and they see a transition piece with the frayed carpet going into the tile, into the kitchen. It just, it just sends the wrong impression. You know, they're at your home because they believe they can afford that home. They like the pictures online. Of course, the pictures aren't going to show that the carpet's frayed. Okay, you're not going to pick up on that until you walk through the house. But it's one of those things where you want them to walk in and from a flooring perspective, have no doubt that they have no questions and they're happy with it. Absolutely. And you guys provide that. I mean, you do a great job. You got great employees, um, you know, excited to, to, to be able to do a lot of work with you. Is there anything else you'd want people to know about flooring? Um, I think just the biggest thing is how quick it is, you know, for carpet, really for most houses, we're, we're done in a day, you know, carpet layers, no matter who you work with can work really quick. And so it's not something that's going to push them back if they're trying to list their home, right? They can do it in one day most of the time. And I can attest to that. Like I've called you and you've been out the next day measured and two days later been installing. <laughs> right. Yeah. It's like a it really, blows my mind. It's you know? a quick fix. And what, what is cost per square foot about to do something like that? For carpet, for most people trying to sell their home, I, I find that most people are between 250 and $3 a square foot. Um, that's with carpet pad and install, right? If they're looking to change up, 
you know, their hard surface flooring, um, usually that's a higher cost, usually closer to six to seven dollars square foot is where most people okay. end up. The hard surface is more and more uh, surface is more and more popular, right? Yeah. So you, you, we're seeing more and more of that. But all of that goes into, um, you know, and I want to reinforce with my clients, we have an agreement that I'll do because I have funds set aside where I'll help them with those expenses, um, you know, so they can get the most out of their house. Right. Uh, you know, obviously we need them to sell the house and everything. And so it kind of binds us together as I'm, if I'm listing their home to be like, Hey, we're in this together. I've got skin <laughs> in the game. You know, let's make sure we make this happen. Mm -hmm. Um, and we, but we need to do everything possible. And again, flooring is a key component in that. And sometimes you need to just stretch the carpet or, you know, or you need a good cleaning. Um, you need to do a patch or you, sometimes you just got to splurge but it will pay you back. Okay. You know, sometimes I have clients, um, like this most recent one who are like, yeah, we want to sell our home for this. And I'm like, well, the market's going to decide, you know, what that price is and we'll do that study. But first of all, we got to take care of your core flooring so you can just be on par with what the market is. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It definitely pays you back to get new flooring. Absolutely. Yeah. You'll definitely get your money back. And it, it's just one less thing to make people have hesitations about your home for sure. Totally fair. Wyatt, thanks. Thanks, Lane. Thanks for being here. We'll see you. <laughs>